In this video, I'm going to use a diamond drill tip in order to drill a hole through this Pyrex glass container to make a vacuum chamber, which I'll show you at the end. I'm going to use a Dremel. You want a, a low uh, Dremel setting. You choose a point where you want to drill. Hit it at a slight angle, like this. I eventually uh, was able to straighten up the drill bit and get right through the glass and then I flipped the Pyrex dish upside down, put it in a bowl full of water that just covers the dish as you can see there, barely covers it and then I continued to widen up the hole by using the edges of the diamond bit. So let me show you how I've been doing that. So that's basically it. And I've gotten it just wide enough now to fit the screw through it. This is a plastic screw. And I'm gonna drill a hole down the bore of the screw to apply the vacuum to the, to the uh, vacuum chamber. And there's enough edge, as you can see there, to make a small rubber washer to put around uh, on the inner surface. And it's actually gonna protrude through the hole this way. So basically that's how you do it. You want to use, the key is to use a diamond drill. You need a Dremel. I've set this one actually on about 5,000 uh, 5, RPM. So here's how it looks after I've dried it off. It looks pretty good for a first attempt. Uh, I want to emphasize that I'm using a pretty small narrow, ga narrow gauge drill, but I was able to drill a much wider hole. And by, by using the edges of the drill, and just uh, moving it in a circular motion. Here's a vacuum chamber that I finally made with it using a nylon screw that I put through the uh, hole that I drilled, sealed it with a little um, silicon o-ring and then uh, tightened that up with a nut and I'm using some Tygon tube and a three-way stopcock and I've applied a vacuum to it and it's uh, it's still holding the vacuum pretty well, as you can see there. I've got a thick aluminum plate. Thanks for watching and please check back.